Well, because the COVID variant spread rapidly and mutate often, it's going to look much like the flu, which means we are probably going to need to see a vaccine be available every fall. And that is exactly what we are seeing this year. So let's break it down a little bit more for you. Right now, the new strain of virus, nicknamed Eris, is likely going to become the dominant strain this fall. So far, it hasn't been more severe than other strains, but it is very transmissible. Doctors aren't quite sure if the current vaccines available will protect against it, but there is an updated vaccine expected to hit the market next month. Doctors are hopeful the new shot will help protect and ease the spread of Eris. In terms of the when is the optimal time to get the vaccine, that's always a, a question that is a little bit, you know, kind of uh, uh, comes with a positives and negatives, uh, if you want to uh, think about it this way, because, you know, giving the vaccine too early um, might, you know, lead to a waning immunity when we potentially might see a surge in the winter season um, and giving it too late, you know, puts the patient at risk of catching one of the circulating, you know, variants that are going around. So, um, you know, our advice so far is to hold off, you know, for the next month or so while, we, you know, the situation is evolving. Now, doctors are worried that as kids head back back to school, both the flu and this new COVID variant will spread very rapidly. So what should you be doing until this new vaccine becomes available? Well, it's an all familiar tune, hand washing, covering your cough and social distance when possible. In Phoenix, I'm Sarah Robinson for Arizona's Family.